Hello, my name is Alan Jackson, and I'm the field application engineer for the WaferSense line by CyberOptics. And I'm going to show you right now is just a basic uh, proof of concept of how the WaferSense and our new Reticle Sense uh, products work. Here I have uh, a WaferSense. This happens to be the camera wafer for precision handoff teaching. It's in 200, 300, and 450 millimeter form factors. And here we have our new reticle sense line. This one happens to be in the in-charging case. And with reticle sense, it's inductive charging, so there's no switches to keep the tool as clean as possible. To charge wafer sense, you put it in the charging case and plug in the power. You next, you plug in a link, a Bluetooth link. Typically, the Bluetooth will travel outside of sealed tools and in open air up to about 150 feet. Each wafer sense comes with its own unique software, data collection and reader. In this case, I'm going to show you a reticle view and reticle review. I've had a stage, I'm going to start counting. And uh, on the display, it gives a, a running data display that get, that's, gets refreshed. In the case of the reticle sense, the particle sensor refreshed every second. In the case of the vibration sensor, for example, it samples a thousand times a second, whatever is appropriate. And the data in the software gets saved for analysis and uh, permanent records to establish repeatability. So at the fab level or at the OEM field service level, uh, every technician can be accountable, have permanent records, the tool can have permanent records, and basically standards can be established, maintenance can be done quicker, repeatability can be checked, statistical analysis can be uh, taken care of. And uh, one more thing I should add, uh, you can annotate in real time. So uh, the wafer sense and reticle sense, they travel through the tool, collect data, uh, precision data that can be stored for permanent records to check tool performance, to check performance of the tool over time, to check technician performance and establish permanent records. Uh, after you run the wafer sense through and collected your data, you can you, you stop the wafer sense uh, software program and then you're ready to move to your next tool or uh, put the devices away. And there you have it, that's the basic wafer sense concept.